Now Robin's intro for the news. Howard, I'm Robin's dad. <laughs> 30 years ago, I recorded one of many now, great nights with my young, sweet Robin. <laughs> so here, you all find out why I have ham hands, why she likes high colonics, and why she likes it bent over in the third input. <laughs> all right, wait. Robin, Robin, wake up, sweetie, Robin. Robin. Sweetie. Your mommy's asleep. Take up your PJs. That is coming in with the Vaseline. That's oh. bad news. Mommy's Your asleep. Sucks. Come and give that a big hug and a kiss. When we was in the shower, your butt cheeks was warm. Oh. Mm, it's still warm. Maybe it's a fever. After touching your man's hand, smell like ham. Okay, baby. Get a, get in all four. I want to grease you up. I need to grease up your butt and check your temperature. You do have a fever. I'll make it all disappear. Oh, yeah. Daddy loves you. You grow up with big jugs. Hi, Robin. So sweet and cute. Three input, babe. Then I now unconsciously reenact my abuse with high colonics and I loving know. anal sex. Bent over the sink. Daddy loves you. Beautiful. That's, a, oh that's an intro. That is great. Wow. That's no intro. Oh. People don't know what I'm going to do now. Did your father actually check to see if mommy was asleep? No, mommy was out of the house. <laughs> oh. I thought the guy knew something. <laughs> oh, mommy was out of the house. Oh, great. You must have been thrilled when your mother went, okay, I'm, I'll be right back. Uh, well, she would. her shopping days were regularly set days. Oy. Daddy was the babysitter. Oy vey. <laughs> oh, man. Robin. Mommy's out shopping. <laughs> Coast is clear. Come here, your butt shits is warm. Oh, your breasts are getting so big. <laughs> I don't remember any conversation. <laughs> Mommy's shopping. Come on. Daddy here. <laughs> Guy's sick, man. Very. Let me man. grease you up. <laughs> Let me grease you up. Max unconsciously reenacts my abuse <laughs> with her high colonics. High colonics. High colonics. And loving anal sex. Bend, Bend over, over the, the sink. sink. That guy's like a, loves you. a psychotherapist. Oh, right. You got a fever. You got a fever, all right. <laughs> From okay, daddy. Okay, baby. <laughs> okay, baby. It's like the worst words. Okay, baby. <laughs> Great, I'm his baby. Your mommy's asleep. <laughs> asleep. Asleep. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> All you, those sweetie. awful <laughs> yeah, right. Baby, sweetie. <laughs> that, like perverts use. You're going to grow up. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. Dogs. Nothing, like, nothing but a sweetie. <laughs> oh, man. Then he breaks into song. <laughs> That's great that he remembers to break into song. <laughs> in the middle of that. My <laughs> Robin, so sweet and cute. <laughs> Three input bang. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing that all then yesterday. And now. Um, then and now. What's that? <laughs> then and now. You were three input bang. Then and now. <laughs> then and now. All right, go ahead, Robin. You have news, you have serious news to do. Oh, <laughs> three input bang. <laughs> See, how can you do the news? You ruined the song. You just ruined it. The contest ruined the song. <laughs> Now we know the lyrics. <laughs> Na -na -na. <laughs> Fantastic song. What is this song? I told you, it sounds like some kind of production bed. That That's all it is. Movies oh. or something. Beautiful. Soundtracks. <laughs> Do you wash your balls? <laughs> no, seriously, do you? Only when they're dirty. Only when <laughs> no, I won't because of the chemicals. Good. Guys lick their balls, right, on the golf course. <laughs> I've seen guys do that, yeah. yeah well, no, why do they do that? I, I mean, most people don't do it now because of the chemicals and you know, right. people getting you know, tongue cancer and stuff like that. But, yeah, right. guys used to lick them. Yeah. Why would they lick them? I, I don't know. It's what is it? No, make, seriously. You, make you feel closer to them. I don't know. No, no seriously, why what, would a guy lick his balls? Don't you want balls? the stuff off of them? Wait, yeah. you want the stuff off your balls? <laughs> Why? Yeah, be because when you don't want to hit, hit a dirty. dirty one. You don't want to hit a... No, but no. I'm being serious now. <laughs> no double entendre. Why would a guy lick his balls? Because they, you want to play with a clean one. 
For, for aesthetic reasons or because... No, because, I mean, if there's dirt and mud on it and stuff, it's not going to fly as well in the air. I see. So your balls won't fly if you uh, don't lick them. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody has the same size balls, right? Uh, no, actually, they're, they're making two different sizes now. They do? Yeah. Big you know, it's funny. First you whack them, then you lick them, then is, you whack them, yeah. then you lick them. Is that legal, though, to, to have it, to play with different size balls? Yes. There it is. Yeah. Why would you choose different sizes? I don't know. I've always played with the small ones. You like small balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. Good for you and your small balls. Are they dimpled? <laughs> yes, they are. What, your balls are dimpled? Why are the balls yeah. dimpled? Uh, again, aerodynamic reasons. Is that right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there's something you know about. Absolutely. Good for you. All right. Thank you, Tom. Okay. All the answers from Tom. You got that whole problem solved. Guys, zero help to me. Zero help. But golf, he's, you know. He's what you call a roadblock. Yeah. He's he an is. Obstruction. I see him. I see one big metal object. He's yeah. a speed bump. I basically just jerked off today. <laughs> Wait, we already talked about the plane crash, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Screw the plane crash. Gone. What are we going to do about the it? The they say the plane just disappeared. It's the worst uh, kind of rescue recovery deal they've ever had because the plane is in that area. The hell They're with it. What are we going to do? For the black boxes and anything they can find left of the people. Oh, yeah? There's some black women on there? Uh, no. Oh. The boxes that record what. Hey, they don't want to lose on. the box. Uh, we don't care about the rest of these women, but just the box we need. The what's going on while you're uh, flying the plane? The <laughs> I recorders, see. Howard. In Chicago. Oh, my God. There's, a, there's an alligator. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh. If I was an alligator, I'd eat the box first. Oh, yeah. Right, man? Just yeah. imagine if the plane stayed intact and they drowned in the plane. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You are assuming that they died when they were... Be they could have been well, alive. Well, listening to that guy who called in earlier. Yes. He was alive until the plane hit. I mean, he was aware. That's what I'm until saying. Until the plane hit the ground. They might have survived the crash because the plane, by the way, was never f recovered. No, it disappeared right. as soon as it hit that murky water. Yeah. They might have all gone down in there and even gotten out and then got eaten by the alligators and mosquitoes and, 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 and cougars. Well, the mosquitoes didn't get them under the water. I don't know about that. Sometimes can do that. <laughs> Sometimes you go under the water and your but feet are sticking water out. Markers. Imagine you survive the plane crash. You get out and then you're in quicksand. You head first into the quicksand. Your feet are out and the mosquitoes sting you to death yeah. with your feet. So oh. you're going to have the 10 minute oh. miserable death. Right. Anyway. And, and then mosquitoes. Ugh. Oh. 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 <laughs> Just life sucks. Jeez. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 In Chicago, they have a situation. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The police are being criticized for turning the death of a 600-pound woman into a carnival atmosphere. Oh, 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 oh. The woman was, uh, her body was in the living room, I guess. I don't know how she got naked, but she was naked. Where was this? In Chicago. I don't believe 31 year old woman. A, a, a 600 pound woman? She remained in her living room for five hours while the cops were trying to figure out how to get her out of there and who should do it and who'd be able to lift her. Because she was dead. Because she was dead and she was 600 pounds. <laughs> she put an alligator in there. Let him eat her. Just a little bit. So there were about 20 kids, I guess, standing outside of the house and they, you know, some of the neighbors and family are saying that the police allowed the kids to come in and gawk at the 600-pound naked woman's body. Hey, that's nothing. I would have dressed her up as Santa Claus and taken pictures. They were also jiggling the body with their boots so that they were, like, like a puppet. kicking right. and making it shake. Did they pose with, with her next to her with pictures? Neighbors who stood across the street said they also saw officers eating food from the woman's house. And playing Nintendo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? They had a good time. They turned on some music. And party. While yeah. they waited for the body to be removed. I got no problem with that. The door of the house was propped open all afternoons and all afternoon, and the curtains were not drawn. So anybody who could walk by could just look in. 
When the body was moved, witnesses say the eight police officers on the scene dragged it by the ankles up the steps from the basement apartment and across the lawn. What do they expect? Exposing the naked body in the process. What are you supposed to do? How about a sheet? Oh, a sheet? How are you going to drag a 600-pound woman with a sheet? Easy. You hold it on the ankle. Let me see you do it. Hey, at least these guys didn't have sex with her. Please. They said they didn't give her any dignity at all. The family even now can't get the body out of the morgue because they can't find a funeral home (laughs) willing to work with a 600-pound woman. So the National Association for the... uh, Advancement, Advancement of fat people. Of fat acceptance. Yeah, I'm a member of that. <laughs> so they got several uh, hundred calls from the Chicago area. And they've called a special meeting to respond to the allegations about the way this woman was treated. Hmm. Large people are treated as somehow subhuman. They are treated as trash. Yeah. <laughs> and they are not going to let this kind of thing pass. It's say. called going to diet. Police. Some people don't have your abilities, Howard, or Uzo's. They just have to be fat. Just eat peanuts and rice. (laughs) And dance. Right. Get yourself a dance show. Seriously, on cable. (laughs) Not only will you have income, you will be thin. Exactly. O.J. Simpson has gone to London, they say, to try to repair his image. I would love to. The uh, main attraction to England is th- that he is going to be the premier guest on a new television talk show that's starting over there. I was They're just thinking that a lot of people will tune in tonight to see him. You could let a fat woman decompose down to about 150 pounds and then get her out of the house and bury her. <laughs> right, no funeral, nothing. What's wrong with that? That would take months. What are you in a rush? <laughs> She's not going anywhere. <laughs> You wouldn't want to come in there and get her out if she'd been decomposed. Really? All right, anyway, so you're saying OJ's on TV. Yeah, well, he's not on TV yet. Sometime this evening he's going to be on television in England. And it's a talk show? or Talk show. They say that uh, none of the questions have been Mm pre-screened. OJ arrived at the airport. There were crowds of reporters waiting to have his first words uttered on, I guess, their particular broadcast. OJ uh, fielded questions about his activities while he's there, including his golf game and how much golf he plans to get in. That's important. But he uh, just ignored questions about the murder of his wife and her friend Ron Goldman. He was also greeted with some shouts of murderer. Good. By some of the crowd. There seems to be, however, a lot of interest in this TV program. A lot of people say they will watch. The producers of the show say they're only paying uh, O.J. one pound, which... uh, which is the same weight works. as his wife's head. <laughs> Which works out to about a dollar fifty. But they are footing the bill for the air, for the first class airfare and travel and all that stuff. I see. Well, that's so very he is nice. Getting paid in some way, of course. And he's also going to uh, address the Oxford debating team oh. while he's there. Here's OJ on the golf course. I think. Jesus, can you believe it? OJ's on the golf course and he's a murderer. Oh, man. Jesus. Oh, guys, right now I am trying to focus on playing golf, and that's the only thing I'm going to focus on. Oh, no, no questions. What a great guy. <laughs> that sounds like Tom's weekend. I'm going to try and focus on my golf and try and drown out what happened that night. <laughs> oh, man, how do people even... I, I, they should just, like, all walk off the golf course and not play. Who's playing with them? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I can't answer that for you. Probably Whitey. Right, Robin? White man. That's probably true. The white man is playing with him. Yes, sir! (laughs) Right. How many did you kill that day? How many kills? 600. 600 kills. 600. They got a big commie cemetery. I'd say my my whole three tours, I had about 150 kills, but I told you I got gypped. Because, hey, Chuck, you'll confirm this. When I blew up that schoolhouse of little children and women, my, my, uh, my uh, sergeant told me that that was one kill. Oh, yeah. That's and I blew up like 50 or 60 because I counted the little fingers and toes. Well, the way we used to do it with these uh, high-explosive rockets, we had to count the arms and legs and divide by four. Right. You see? 
That's what I'm talking about. You have to divide by four. But, uh, we, what are you we laughing have... at? That's not funny. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not funny. It's the <laughs> truth. That's right. Hey, I'll tell you something. I, I used to do painting. Did you ever do painting? What's uh, that? I would drop uh, the goop bodies from a helicopter through the blades of a, of a second helicopter and decorate the fields with gook pieces and blood and guts. Wait a minute. When, why did, how did you get into the helicopter? I knew a lot of helicopter guys. I was in helicopters a couple of times. And you got, you loaded up a helicopter with bodies? Yeah. And I would drop my, the gooks through the other blades. You'd think that there was a war on. You'd be too busy for No, such no, no, man. That's entertainment. That was, that was my rest and recreation. <laughs> hey, Robin, but seriously. Robin, mm -hmm. In my book, I've got a picture. Gary's seen it of, uh of my helicopter with splattered commie gook up on the front of it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. He, this guy, this guy's, now, people don't understand. You don't understand. mean the words. Yeah. You, don't, you <laughs> got to understand something. Back in those days, Chuck, you'll confirm this, we had to dehumanize the enemy, didn't How we? How did he know that was commie gook? Oh, you know. Oh, we saw him. Uh, we, see, they used to call me Kamikaze Carla. Mm hmm And uh, they, I used to crash through my targets, and, and we'd blow them up. They'd blow chunks up about 40 feet when you'd hit them with these rockets. Yeah. Tell me some of the other cool stuff you used to do, because well, I'm always bragging. Uh, after a while, I got tired, and we, we switched over to these white phosphorus rockets. Right. And uh, that really light them up then, you know, and, and hired, you know what I'm talking about. Of course. So uh, I'll explain to Robin. She's completely out of it. You know, just uh, that white phosphorus would uh, burn them real good. Yep. And after a while, you get where you love the smell of those burning commie gooks, you know. Right, right. And uh, uh, something that would happen, Robin, that was fascinating, you'd they'd bring in a wounded one that was hit with uh, white phosphorus. Uh -huh. The doc in the medic tent would turn the light off, and that gook would glow in the dark. That's right. Green glowing gook. Hey, listen, when I was in Nam, I found uh, gook eyelids always stuck between my teeth when I made head steaks. <laughs> Tell Robin about head steaks. Oh, yeah, you got to put those heads up. You That's know? right, got to eat them. That's right. Oh, well, man, those were the days. Now. I loved it. There are our, Vietnamese our... here in this country. How do you feel about them? The Vietnamese in this country? Mm -hmm. I got no problem anymore. What about this guy? Oh, Chuck? I, I helped some of them come over. I trained some of them after Me the too. war, and Is I helped right? them come over here. Of course. Well, good for you. Listen, it's... when we were in the war, Chuck, we had to do what we were told to do or else we would have been killed. Oh, absolutely. And you had you couldn't think about the enemy as human. You could never well, think of them as human. what about civilians, women, children? I didn't care because I knew that most of them were V.C. Uh, and I would Robin, just kill them. Robin, the, uh, the V.C. used to put wigs on and look try to look like women where we wouldn't shoot them. Uh -huh. Of course. I, I hit one with a H.E. rocket one day, and it blew the wig off. It looked like a Frisbee taken off. That's right. <laughs> And let me tell you something, man. If they had well, eyes... He's writing his material. There ain't nobody writing. This is Vietnam we're talking about. This is the way we talk, Robin, at our reunion. You're not kidding. Right? Oh, you mean Chuck get together and drink. <laughs> hey, if they had eyes, they, they were the enemy as far as I was concerned. I didn't uh, sit and make uh, judgment calls. <laughs> Lieutenant Callie, God bless him. You love him too, right? Oh, yeah. Of course, we all do. He got let fried. Let me ask this guy another thing. What about the women? Did you have any of the women? Oh, come on. You had Mama right. Sons, right? Robin, I'd only been there about two weeks when a, when a little commie babe nearly killed me. Right. What happened to you? Oh, well, what happened, I heard we used to go out on these P&L missions. We called them Peep and Lust. Yes. And we'd chase them out in the evenings while they were taking their baths. So we, <laughs> had this, we had this little commie babe running down this dike with two Firebird gunships right behind her. Go ahead. She cuts into these tree lines, and, you know, all we're doing is checking out the buns. We're not watching. Right. And as we come over the trees, two firebirds are coming the other way, and she nearly got four firebird gunships at one time. That's right. That would have made her a general if she would have pulled that deal off. You used to have sex with some of them, right? Well, I, I did. You know, I, let me tell you what I used to do. Let me ask you if you ever played this. I don't think I've ever asked you this. Did you ever play Assemble the Gook? Uh, Assemble the Gook? Yeah. No, we never did that in those helicopters. Now, what we me used to both, disassemble them. No, what me and my buddies used to do, we chopped their heads and limbs off of ten gooks and mix up the parts and then see how fast we could reassemble one of them, them little little commies. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> that was a game we'd play. I do have an embarrassing story. It was a new kind of puzzle. Huh? It was a new kind of puzzle, man. I loved it. I do have an embarrassing story to tell about my gook necklace. Go ahead. Well, what happened one day? I was By the way, Robin, all of us had that. What was on your necklace? We all had necklaces. Right. I Ears, walking, everything. Go ahead. I was walking through the company area one day, and the company commander stopped me, and he said, what's that? And I said, sir, those are those are uh, dried apricots. 
And before I get loose hired, I had to I had to chew on one of them just to convince him it was an apricot. So right. Eat it. So you ate one of them ears? Well, I just chewed a little bit, you know. That ain't nothing oh. wrong with that. Hey, yeah, let me. You know, you know. Hey, listen. <laughs> it was no big deal. You know, over there, you didn't even have pets or anything. So just to keep myself human, I made pet uh, out of a rat, out of a rat. And I used to use the uh, enemy's rib cage to keep my pet rat in, and I would feed it the guts. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh, I understand. Yeah, you know. That's the way you had to look at things. It was a different kind well, of life. you didn't ever get down on the ground to do all of this uh, reassembling or any of that stuff. No, I oh, did no. it all. It was, it was difficult for us. He was up take. in the sky. He was helping us out. What we would do is we would go in and blow up a village, and this guy would take out the rest of the people. That's right. Yeah. Well, didn't they sometimes come in and clear an area, and then you guys yeah. would have to go in and see if there was anybody left? I never liked that. I like to go in first. <laughs> I, I like the challenge of going in first. They used to call me Rambo. There you go. Because I was so wild. Of course, now, Rambo wasn't written yet. Rambo pre prior to the They movie. stole that name from me. Oh, yeah. John Rambo. <laughs> well, uh, maybe I should tell Robin about this little song we used to sing. What's that? It's called Drop the Napalm in the Schoolyards, Watch the Kitties Run and Shout. You'll really laugh your butt off when they try to put it out. Yeah. Dolly Parton covered that, made a fortune. <laughs> hey, how about the time... Uh, Chuck, tell him about the time. I, he had the gook uh, necklace, which yeah, everyone did. Yeah. I yeah. P.U. Where did you get that beanie? <laughs> Nobody would come near me for days. <laughs> right? That's right. Hey, Chuck, I could do this all day, man. I love it. Yeah. I love talking Vietnam. Well, you know, when the we went... Two of I think, should be put away. Let me tell you something, buddy. <laughs> hey, listen. You, you, listen. Those were the days we survived. A lot of our buddies dropped. Did you know that? War is a very inhuman thing. It wasn't fun. It was not fun, but some days you had a few good laughs, like when you wore the hat or you played Reassemble the Gook. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. Yeah, it, those were some good times. But uh, I'll tell you, I saw a lot of my buddies die. And the only reason I talk about this stuff on the air with guys like Chuck, real yeah, men. why do you do it? To remind people that we were over there and that we gave our we gave our heart and soul to that It sounds like war. you had a good time. I don't know why you're so belly nah, We're telling you about the good parts. There was a lot of bad parts, a lot of tough times. I'll tell you about the worst time I had. Chuck, what was the worst thing you ever did over there? Worst thing you ever did? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I guess it's the night I nearly got shot down with uh, goo heads and cabbage heads. Go ahead. Okay, we rolled in at that night. They had uh, tried to fool us, and they put this uh, explosives under the in this boat full of cabbage. Right. And I rolled in on them, and I hit it with an HE rocket. And when that thing cooked off, the goo heads cabbage heads, cook goo, cook cabbage hitting all over my helicopter. That, yeah, and that dirty shit, and then you have to clean that off. Oh, it, it's you terrible. See, Robin don't understand. That's uh -huh. the worst thing when you got to clean all that stuff off. Well, it's like psychological warfare. Here yeah. you keep punching out these comedy lives, and the next thing you know, they throw their guts up on your helicopter. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then you got to be stuck cleaning it. That's right. Hey, man. <laughs> I know. I had some bad Well, at times. least you can laugh about it now. <laughs> Remember the baseball game we had over there? Oh, yeah. We took uh, the enemy's knees, their kneecaps, and we would use them as balls, and their leg bones would be bats, and their bellies we'd use as bases. <laughs> and then we'd have the games. Man, that was wild. Let me ask you something. What was your division name? What were you in? We were, we were called the Firebirds. The Firebirds were one of the bravest units over there. Right, and I wrote a book called The Firebirds. Our, our right? business card said, You call, we kill, death on call. Right. And, uh, when you had these boys in your corner, you weren't afraid. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Are hey, you still selling that book? Huh? Oh, yeah. They sold the first printing, and uh, they've got some more in yesterday and going to distribute some more. So. Yep. You know what my battalion was called? What? What's that? The Jews. <laughs> <laughs> A whole group of Jews down on the ground fighting? No, they weren't Jews. They were just called the Jews. Why is that? Why? Why? We used to bake matzo on our back when we'd go in. <laughs> we were wild. We had a wild team over there. Hard, hard. Should I tell Robin about this 80-year-old mama son that could run like a cheetah? Yeah, tell her that good story, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead. This is this guy. He, okay. He's got the best stories. Run this is like old a Chuck. Cheetah, eighty-year-old woman. Nothing better than getting drunk and really high with Chuck, man, and talking about the eighty-year-olds. Go ahead. Okay. What happened? We came in to get ready for combat assault, and I was in this Firebird gunship that was fully loaded, and I had to land at this soccer field. See? Well, this mama son, she had picked the exact spot I was going to land to take a dump. So anyway, I came in there full blast. 
And Why would she be out in an open field taking a dump? They, they hired. They did it all the time. Of course. You don't. Robin doesn't know anything. She thinks it's plumbing in Vietnam. Go ahead. Even but Marla anyway, Maples knows they go under the board. Anyway, I sort of overshot my approach, and at the last second, I thought I'd just mashed me a mama's on. And all of a sudden, at the last second, she comes out from under there hired with her pants around her ankles, and she runs over 100 yards down through This there. chopper didn't blow her out of there. <laughs> No. It didn't blow her out of there? <laughs> no. She, no. You, you wouldn't believe how she ran with her pants around her ankles, Robin. Oh, yeah, you don't always get a direct hit. Let me tell you something. And then we caught her, Chuck nailed her, and then we chopped her head off. Right, Chuck? That's right. Yeah, man, we had a good time with her. Oh, yeah, Here you should see them. Sometimes you would chop their head off. they run around like a chicken for a while. I don't think oh, this man hey, has ever right. seen a helicopter. Tell, tell him, Chuck. <laughs> I got another story here, and we'll ask Robin's advice. See, right, go ahead. We uh, argued over whether you count this as a body count. My buddy's listening right now. Well, anyway, he shot a rocket, knocked this gook's head clean off. Go ahead. All four of the crew members said last they saw that gook, he was still running. Right. And I said, you can't count a running gook in the body count. Right. Now, what do you think, Robin? Do you think we should count that one in the, in the body count? Oh, uh, she probably liked my sergeant. She'd probably say no. Well, they always rob me. I would have the purple heart. I don't know. I figure you got to have a head if you're going to be a living person. Oh, please. After they, you, they let me tell you something, Robin. You don't know this. After you, after you behead a woman, yes, her private parts twitch. <laughs> That's the best. I had I had that a couple of times. But you got to be quick, right? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. You got to do all. It's all timing. <laughs> Robin, we, we you don't understand. We were there. barely human over there. It was man I think against you're man. You're barely human now. Talking oh. about hey, it was it was a different time. It was a different time. Now I don't believe in anything. I this. think that this kind of stuff should be kept quiet. You better be damn well lucky. You got a few good men like me and Chuck. We're willing to go over and fight for this country. That's right. You're damn right. Right, yeah. Chuck? like they were coming over here. We're no pussies. <laughs> hey, don't bring that up. <laughs> hey, Chuck, hey. man, do you eat egg rolls? Huh? Do you eat egg rolls? Oh, yeah. I'll took eat me Took me 10 years to eat my first egg roll <laughs> once I got back from there. And this stuff are, they right? call a spring roll, I could barely eat that. I heard we had another one running down a dike one day. Hey, this is and a good he one. He, he's got his gun in his hand. He saw he wasn't going to make it, so he threw that gun right down, turned around and threw his hands up right when my buddy popped a rocket at him. See? It didn't go off. It speared him in the chest. Right. And my buddy said when he flew off, he was laying there with that rocket sticking up, and he said he looked like a gook hors d'oeuvre out there. See? That's how we fought this war, man. Unbelievable. And this is all in your book. Yep. This is in my book. Oh, yeah, he got a book. <laughs> They That's a, a good book. Stories, uh, they had to politically correct it a little bit. I think so. Hey, Chucky, here's a woman who wants to give us some crap. <laughs> hey, honey, you there? Yes. You're going to give two vets crap? You're going to tell us what we did was wrong? Go ahead. I'm just saying, why are you demeaning it so much? You're joking about all these. No, we ain't demeaning, honey. You were sitting here dating while me and Chuck were over there kicking ass. Dating? Yeah. I was born in 68. Yeah, you, you, you started way too young. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, honey. When you got two men over here who aren't ashamed of what they did, who are proud but of what they did. you weren't even there. I was there, honey. You were Don't tell not. me. Hey, where were you? Where, when have you ever, ever fought I for wasn't this country? I born yet. Well, I was. All right, I can tell when I'm talking to a vet, and you and I are bad to the bone. There's right. no doubt. You're I'll, damn right. I'll bet you two recognize each other. <laughs> I think I remember you from over there. <laughs> right. All right. You guys are just so full of it. Oh, we're so full of it. And hey, let me tell you something, Chuck. You tell this mama son on the phone what you think of her. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, she no. just had to have been there to appreciate it. Right. My father was in the Vietnam War. Yeah, so? What he was doesn't he? doesn't talk like this, does he? was it? probably some and pussy no. boat guy. Oh, probably well. on one of them ships swabbing the deck. <laughs> he Actually, wasn't up there doing anything. No, he was, but, I mean, he died for his country. Oh, he died? Uh-huh. Oh, that's, that's then, then, we, then we respect him. Oh, thank you. But why? Right, Chucky? That's correct. That's a good man. I'm just glad he can't hear these two fools. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure he can. He'd probably, he'd probably listen in the Howard in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Then All you're right. excused. We won't yell at you because you lost your daddy in the war. This time right, Chucky? That's right. Hey, Chucky, how many, how, many, how many babies you leave over there? I probably got five, six kids over in Vietnam. <laughs> They'd be pretty old now. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, right. right, you too, right? 
Oh, no. I tell you, after that little commie babe nearly killed us that day, I stayed away from him. You did? Yeah, the only ones I ever looked at were missing heads and legs and stuff like that. You're a real man. You didn't go over to Thailand for a little R&R? &R? No, heck. I, hey, Robin, five days after we blasted that 600 gooks, I went to Hawaii and got married and still married to her. Is that right? <laughs> That's, That's right, right man. All right, thanks. He's, he's married to a, to a Chinese person? Of no, course. no, I met my wife in Hawaii. Yeah, she's Hawaiian, same thing. Oh. Yeah, thanks. All right. Once you go over there, you start to get attracted to everything you killed. <laughs> right, Chucky? That's right. That's right. Hold on, honey. Thank you. Oh, boy. I love Vietnam, man. <laughs> love to talk to other guys. You're on the air. Hey, Howard, you're a liar. You were 15 in 1969. No, I'm not well, a liar. Why, why deal with I was 15. The I enlisted at 15. Let me tell you something. I'm not a pussy like you. Oh, why all right. deal with the what truth? What were you in? I was old for my age. Old for your age. <laughs> I was. War on drugs. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Chuck, Yeah. you ever going to go back to Vietnam? Well, I went back in 93. Yeah, let me tell you something. If you see any kids over there that are tall, yellow, with big noses, that's <laughs> Howie Jr. <laughs> Treat them good, all right? I'll tell you what, I certainly didn't tell any of them I was a Firebird gunship pilot when I went back. I told them I was a biker. Yeah, you got to keep your mouth shut, my friend. You don't want to tell them any stories. <laughs> right. All right, my brother. Hey, plug your book again. It's okay, Chuck. It, it's Firebirds, and it sold the first printing already, and uh, they've got a new printing just came in yesterday. That's All right. right. All right, Chuck. And, and, and what's your last name? Uh, Carlock. They call me Kamikaze Carlock. That's right. Kamikaze hey. Carlock. Very legendary over in Vietnam. I got to read that book. Hey, you know who just bought his book? O.J. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Okay, great talking right, take to Take care, man. Bye. That's a real man, Robin. If O.J. takes some of his tips, we'd all better duck. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy. There's a guy you can respect. Good old Chuck. <laughs> From a distance. Yeah, don't want to get too close. <laughs> man... That guy is a hero among veterans. <laughs> took out lots of the commie. VC. Always, always took out his share. That man was no slouch. I think it's time to move on. <laughs> yeah. For both of you. <laughs> I don't know. Just leave it behind. It's hard to put it out of your mind, leave man. Leave it behind. I had a malaria attack the other night while I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was nasty That's business. That's ugly, yes. Yeah, I was down in a bottle of bourbon and... Uh, I got to tell you, the malaria kicked in, and I passed out. They had to carry me home. All right, we're going to take a break. Hmm. God, I was on fire last night. I was drinking. I had the malaria, and then I, I went crazy, and I chopped up a box of rice. Was this after we finished filming yeah. yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking about the mama son. Uh, All right, uh, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> And then since I've been working on the movie, I didn't get to call this guy for two weeks. So that made it even better because yeah, he was cause waiting like by his phone. Busy. Yeah, he's waiting like the guy's all busy. And finally, I call him. Yeah. And he fell so for it hook, line, really and sinker. So were you really sitting there waiting? Oh, yeah, I was waiting. waiting. I was yeah, he was waiting. Excited and you I could was... tell. And <laughs> what is weird about this call, without giving too much away, is what Jim will and won't do. Oh, I, I find it odd what he'll agree to do and what he won't do. You don't understand his line. No, I don't. Now, you tell, listen okay. carefully and tell me his line, because okay. his line is very jagged in my mind. <laughs> All right? This is Jim as I scam him with another phony phone call. Yes. Hello. Yes, hi. Uh, I'm looking for Jim, please. Speaking. Jim, hi. Steve Heller, Dark Horse. How's it going? Very good. I understand that uh, you were looking to get into the film industry, and yep. the adult film industry specifically. Yep. And have you done previous work? Never. I worked in a uh, in a mail order uh, porno place. They used to mail order the tapes out. Did you appear on film? Never. Mm-hmm. And are you a handsome man? Yep. I see. Uh, how five, old six, are you? 145 pounds. Hold 20. on. Let me drop that down. Five six. 145 pounds. We usually like a male actor. Yes. Is Jim lying? <laughs> what, be about being a handsome man? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, come on, Robin. He's a cute guy. All right, here we go. Drop that down. Five, six. 145 pounds. We usually like a male actor in the six-foot range. That's why I'm a little hesitant about five, six. Are you white? Yep. Okay. 145. Have you ever appeared nude on camera? Never. And you're well endowed? Yep. Mm-hmm. As long as it's, like, legit, you know. What does that mean? In what sense? 
Just wait a second. Okay. Wait a second. You got to listen to the call, Robin. You can't. You just. You got to just listen. All right. It's like legit, you know. In what sense? You know, like test it out, and shit like that. I don't understand what you mean by test it out. Like I don't want to go jumping into bed and finding out my shit gonna fall off three three days later. I see. Oh, you're talking about AIDS exams? Yeah. Yes. Have you had an AIDS exam recently? No, I, I've never had one. Have you had sexual relations within the last six months? Yes. Would you be willing to take an AIDS examination? Yes, I will. All right. And uh, you wear a condom? Yes. I, yes. Uh-huh. Well, we're casting for several movies now. We'd need to, of course, see you to see that if you would be physically right for the role. Are yeah. you muscular? Uh, no. I see. Are you thin? I'm pretty thin. Would you say you look young or would you look middle-aged? I look young. How old are you? 21. 21. That's good. Um, what about, um, let me just go through my checklist, okay? And then if everything works out, we'll fly you out for a test. Okay. Would you be willing to shave off your body hair or do you have body hair? Uh, I already shaved it off. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. All right, you're clean shaven. That's good. <laughs> um, are you interested only in women or would you do men as well? No, just women. Just women. Why do you want to get into the pornography industry, if I may ask? No, I just thought it would be a different uh, thing to get into. Mm -hmm. I work with it. When I when I first got out of high school, I went to work in a, a mail order mm -hmm. porno place. And we right. used to deal with, I used to deal with it all, all the time. I worked there for about a year and a half. And you'll be able to prove your age because you know we've had parental consent uh, agreements uh, uh, yeah, dishonored. No, no problem. I got a driver's license, anything else. All right. Birth certificate. Mm -hmm. And you have, no, you have no fears of going on camera nude? No. I got uh, three tattoos. Have you have any piercings? No. We're doing a piercing film right now. We're looking for someone who might be a little bit on um, the wild side. Right. Um, are you a member of a law enforcement organization? No. Uh -huh. Are you opposed to a man releasing on your chest or back? Yes. You are. Mm, and it's difficult. Would you consider taking a Roman shower? What's a Roman shower? All right. That would be where girls drink some wine and then throw up the contents on you. Yeah. You're not opposed to that? No. Good. <laughs> All right. Are you allergic to bee stings? Uh, no. No? No. All right. We're looking to film a scene where you get stung in the genitals by honeybees. If this was the case, your unit would swell up to a big size. Not of that. No. You are not. Good. <laughs> would you mind having your scrotum um, scotch taped to your thigh? <laughs> scotch tape? No. To appear larger? No, that's all right. Have you ever uh, considered doing a snuff scene with one of the producers? Would you be willing to do a snuff scene with one of the producer's South American maids? Uh, you're losing me here. Yeah, not interested, right? I, I don't know what it is. Um, this would be where we simulate a, an actual murder on camera. Simulated, of course. Yeah. It's um, It would be violent. Would you be opposed to working in a violent situation? No. Okay, good. Do you have a, a sister who would be willing to participate in a scene with you? I have two sisters, but they wouldn't be interested. Uh huh. Yeah. What about uh, any other family members? A mother who is young? No, my How? mother passed away. Your mother is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Would you be willing to have sex with a lizard? No. No, any, an no animals. No animals whatsoever. No animals whatsoever. Mm. What about sex with a fish? No animals. Nothing like that. Uh huh. No water mammals. None of that. You know, we know a seal's vagina is in, a, in is very accessible and would uh, lend to great camera angles. But no one would know it was a seal. They would think it was a woman. <laughs> no. No? No. Would you be willing to have sex with amputees? With what? Amputees. What's that? That is people with no arms or legs. Yeah, I'd be opposed to that. You would? 
I think, I so, so far, he'd let people vomit on him. Yes, but nothing else. <laughs> right. But, no, he would let people vomit on him. And bees can sting and his, bees can sting his can genitals, sting and he will be allowed to have his genital scotch tape. What's great about the whole yeah, thing is... he's not going to do anything. He's right. on top of every question, so I'm I'm lost, you know. He's okay, just, let's see how lost you I'm are. Not, I'm amazed at what he doesn't know. He doesn't right. know... What an amputee is. <laughs> films, amputees, yeah. he doesn't know any of these terms. <laughs> I never even thought of something like that. Well, I'll tell you something. The pornography industry has gotten stranger and stranger. I'm no, um, no, I've been in the industry 20 years, and I've seen things get pretty wild. <laughs> I hear it. I know, and we're looking for people to do wild things. I hear you. Sometimes if someone is high-challenged, like yourself, we will ask them to do something that is a little wilder. Right, right. All right, we're currently filming three movies right now. Okay. Thunder in Suburbia, Anal Airlines, and gob droppers and pod lickers. Would you be willing to at least kiss a man? No. You will not? No. Mm-hmm. Straight up. <laughs> what about a religious scene where we, if you played Jesus Christ and we nailed you to a cross while a woman performed oral favors? That would be fine. That would be okay? Yeah. Very good. You didn't get in trouble. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, uh, we're a very controversial film uh, company. That's so he's willing to be nailed to a cross and receive oral favors. Okay, so keep going. Wait. It's hard to find people. I will be up front with you. Really? Would you be willing to dress in uh, women's clothing? Uh, I'd be opposed to that. Uh -huh. Would you dress as a black woman? Well, how does black woman dress? <laughs> well, I mean, would you be willing to be in black face? Pretty good angle on this. Okay. Can, can a girl put objects in, near or around your buttocks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest object we could use? Oof. What is the biggest thing that you could take? I guess like a pen. A pen? Yeah. That's all? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> a pen. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to think if there's anything other pictures I can think of you for. A lot of the things that you're not willing to do, we need someone to desperately have sex with a fish. <laughs> yes. And the Roman shower you will do. Yeah. Well, there might be a possibility there. We don't have too many people who are into Roman showers. People are very uptight about vomit. Do you have any ideas of your own of what you would like to do in a film? No. You just want to have straight sex with women? Straight sex. A mm -hmm. couple women, I don't mm -hmm. care. Would you be willing to drink urine? Ugh. No. No. Mm -hmm. Would you allow a woman to death? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Would you allow concrete to be poured into your... Uh, and allow it to harden? <laughs> that I would let go. You would you would allow that? Yeah. So he would allow concrete poured into you know where <laughs> and harden. And let it harden. Yeah. Oh, man. That he'd allow. See, this is wh where it got confusing to me. I he won't have sex with an amputee. at this point. Yeah, he, but he's willing to pour concrete <laughs> into it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a weird guy, I guess man. I'm sick, huh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that was a real surprise. Yeah, that, that... Okay, that's good. You know, I'm just getting excited talking about it. <laughs> I hear you. So where do you, where do you usually... You will not. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tell you, uh, you sound very exciting in some of the things you'll do, but some <laughs> it's, it's odd that some things you won't do. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, um, I'm going to pass along all of this. I'm going to need to see you at some point. Okay, where, where are you usually filming out? Out west? Um, well, we, we film all over, actually. We're filming now in Canada. We're doing two films. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Would you be willing to service me to get the role? <laughs> no. You will not? No. Mm hmm How badly do you want to be in this movie? Yeah, pretty bad. No. Yeah. A lot of our actors have certainly given me some sex. Yeah. So I can try you out. I hear you. What about little... Do you sing? Just straight women. Oh, I see. Do you sing? Do I sing? Yeah, I sing in a rock band. Mm-hmm. Sing something for me. What do you want to hear? Just Black uh, Sabbath? Okay, go ahead. Uh, generals gathered in their masses. Just like witches at Black Masses. Mm -hmm. Evil mindset plot destruction. So 
most array of death construction. You're very talented. I like that. I'm I play actually. Guitar and I sing in a band, and uh, I'm touching myself as you sing. Cool. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Glad you're getting into sing it. Sing a little more. Um. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Finish with my mm. woman, cause mm. she couldn't mm. help me with my mind. Mm. People think I'm insane because mm. I am frowning. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you. Would you try a line of dialogue for me? Uh, what do you mean dialogue? I'll give you a sentence to say and you act it out. Good. Okay. I want you to say I'm queer, but I'd like to try a woman. I'm queer, but I'd like to try a woman. Say it again this time like you mean it. I'm queer, but I'd like to try a woman. I don't believe you're queer. I mean, I don't believe you're... you're you try and say, look, I'm queer, but I'd like to try a woman. Look, I'm queer, but I'd like to try a woman. All right. Now say, please put that spoon in my... B please put that spoon in my... B say it like you mean it. Please put the spoon in my... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. Would you be willing to work free first time, or do you insist on getting paid? Uh, it all depends on what, what's going to be happening. I see. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, now do me a favor, say this line of dialogue, okay? You ready? Yep. I repeat, I I just just got got scammed scammed by by Howard Stern. Howard Stern. I <laughs> I Oh man. I am talking to I am talking to Howard Stern and not a pornography producer. <laughs> Stern, you are a rip. <laughs> Now repeat this. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. That's right. And I will never, ever <laughs> ask to be in the porno industry again. <laughs> Sir, you are the best. Oh, man. Was it that bad? Yeah, what's the matter with you? What do you mean you're willing to do all that stuff? <laughs> the concrete thing. Yeah, the concrete that threw me. would kill you. Wouldn't that kill you? Who's this a picture of? My sister. Oh, yeah, she's hot. Yeah. Does she want to be in the movie? Yeah. <laughs> I told you <laughs> that earlier. She's cute. Yeah. yeah, you'd look good as a girl. <laughs> Well, now you realize that you are way too naive to be in the porno industry. Look how people take advantage of you. You on top of everything. Right. That's great. So do me a favor. Don't be in the porno, don't okay? Don't be an idiot. All right. Don't be an idiot. You're not really thinking this through. But anyway, that's Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. You would really allow a guy to pour concrete in I your... I don't know. After a while, I was just like, so like, I can't believe these questions. I was like, yeah, yeah you know, I... What are you doing? I was scratching my uh, pubic region. I was a little itchy. <laughs> now I just pass some wind. I've been playing with myself the entire show, by the way. It's a very sexy show today. You like that young guy who was just... Yeah, he was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. The porno guy. I'm beginning to wonder about you. Mm, me, too. I'm all confused over here. <laughs> I'm sexually ambiguous today. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, that. Uh, so that kid, he, he fell for that phony phone call pretty good. He said he felt real dumb. He should have. Yeah. That was pretty bad. I talked to him out in the hall. I said, you know, really don't go into the porno industry because people will really take advantage of you. Yeah, he'll be dancing on the... Um, here's a list of things runway he... Runway in a short while. Yeah, well, here's a list of things he'd allow to be done to him. He would let bees sting his genitals. He would scotch tape his genitals. Uh, he, would, um, he would accept a pen. Did he accept the piercing? No. No. No, the piercing was a no. He'll allow people to vomit on him. <laughs> I love that phone call. Kept saying, totally straight, totally straight, just straight women. Just straight sex and concrete. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really into this rectal area, and uh, we'll need you to be a little more forthcoming in that direction. Uh, I backed off on the snuff film. I said, you know, that's where we'll kill a South American woman. And yeah, you said simulate. Yeah, because I figured th this guy will know that it's me, but uh -huh. I guess he wouldn't. I don't think so. I think you, you could have gone the whole way with him. I said, no, if I say we want you, we want you to kill someone in a film. I wonder what he would have said. Yeah, well. Sure.
I didn't want to blow the whole thing because I had so many funny things to ask him yeah, about the seals. Yeah, you should have waited later on that. Yeah, about the seals' vagina and stuff. <laughs> kill somebody. But... Yeah, would you kill somebody? I yeah, a, a South American I would, yeah. <laughs> Is that like an American <laughs> but I from the South? <laughs> but I won't kill a man. <laughs> 40 phone calls. I love making 40 phone calls. Yes, I see you do. Yeah, I do. I do love it. I really do. Pop, 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 pop. We're back with a man who likes to take people with life-threatening diseases, throw them in a steamer trunk, and leave them on the street. I've done that. Howard Stern. And I did like it. It was funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe I got a bizarre sense of humor. All right. We have something exciting now. Um, uh, about how many years ago was this? Two years ago? Yeah, almost two and a half. Two years ago, a woman came into my studio, and here is what I said to her. She was a very fat girl. And I said to her, um, well, here's what she I said. She came to show you her body? Yeah, she came in here to get naked, didn't she? No, she didn't come. I don't think she came to get naked, but she came in here because I think she was um, sucking your fingers. Really? Yeah. She and, did? I, and, I, and I was listening to the tape, and I was going, God, I can't believe Howard did that. Yeah. You stuck your fingers in her mouth. I did? Yeah. Somebody sure? called and said, I want to suck your fingers, and you said, okay? Well, anyway, I don't remember. I plead the fifth <laughs> or something. I plead loss of memory. But here's the, uh, here is this girl. She was fat. Listen, I want to thank you for coming in. And um, lose a couple of pounds before I, because the film make you uh, look heavier. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And there's a very skimpy outfit involved. Skimpy outfit. And also, I told the girl that she could possibly be in my movie if she lost 30 pounds. I see. They don't have the big screens like they used to, so I don't know if I'll be able to fit you on the screen on this side. So you go back. <laughs> oh, my God, an elephant. <laughs> well, I don't remember this girl. Her name is Margaret. She claims she has lost 30 pounds since her last appearance and wants to be and in the movie. And you said lose 30 pounds. Yeah. Now, what the hell we're going to do? There's a scene we could throw her in, but. You made a promise. Yeah. I'll go bring her in. Well, let you, me see. Is she still fat? Never... I think that... I don't if, think she lost 30 pounds. She may have lost 30 pounds, but I think that if she might have needed to lose like 45. And who knows if she really lost it. It's like when right. uh, Roger Ebert comes in here and says he lost 30. Did we weigh her at the time she was here? I don't know. You see, that's the problem. See, I remember her, yeah. and I think that she's thinner than when she was in. Let me see. not thin. Let, bring her in. I'll, tell, I'll know in a minute. Once I see the face, I'll remember what she looked like. For God's sake. I told this girl point blank, I said, you wouldn't be half bad looking if you just lost a couple of pounds. Look, I'm no beauty. I don't say I am, but I could tell when somebody else looks a mess. <laughs> I can feel her walking this way, so she didn't lose that much weight. The floor is rumbling. Oh, yeah, I remember you. You didn't lose no 30 pounds, Aww. sweetheart. You did not lose any. Let me see. Come here. Then you better go lose another 50. I ain't putting you in my movie. People throw up. Oh, for God's sake. Look at the size of you. Oh, I'll cook your butt, Howard. I'm going to oh, cut blue. your hair. Hey, do me a favor. I am going to cut your hair. Look, look at you're that cute. Picture, you would look terrific if you lost some weight. Howard, I have Robin. 10 more pounds to go. I lost yeah. the 30 you told me to lose. Yeah, and how about... A I have about 10 or 15 pounds to lose now. Robin. Wait a minute. you got to bring me... Those are the Hi, Robin. Hello, how are you? Sweetheart. No offense. You're a nice girl. Howard, I remember you now. I remember come you. Come on now. you got to get 10 off each arm to get in this come movie. On. <laughs> Even your I arms are heavy. I knew you were going to say that. I no. knew you were going to say that. You're a pretty girl. Just tell me you don't want to give me the part no. now. No, no, listen you to me. You made a promise, and listen now to me. I lost the 30 pounds, and you don't want to give me the part. I was being kind by saying 30 pounds. Uh -huh. If you lost 30 pounds, if you, in fact, lost 30 pounds, which I, I don't know you can document. You are doing that for your listeners. I'm going to tell you give something. Give me a break. You need Look to lose another 30. Wow. Oh, lose another 30 break. and lose them quick, because <laughs> I'm in the middle of shooting. I am going to kill you. No, you're not. Is you're not allowed to do that. It's not another 30. How much do you weigh? I don't even know because I don't let yeah. him tell Because you didn't weigh yourself. No, I don't let him tell me. Oh, come know. on. Where did you go? It sounds like you went to one of those programs. No, I have a trainer now. Oh. A trainer? You should be uh -huh. shot. You should kill no, him, not he's me. he's very good. He's very good. What's Howard. his name? Heavy D? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. Look, you're a beautiful black right, woman. you have to do a show. I understand no, that. No, no, no. Did he train you to eat or he trained you to stop <laughs> eating? For God's sake. <laughs> I would almost guarantee he you, my darling, eat right. that you have not lost 30 pounds. Howard, I have I never weighed you, but I'm telling you, you have Look not at lost those 30 pictures. pounds. I don't care. Look at that. Yeah, you're big there and you're big now. I am not that big, Howard. Did you look in the that mirror? That is 170. Listen to me. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, all right? Because I see what you're desperate. I'll put you in a scene. There's okay. a big group scene that I'll put you in. You'll be the group. <laughs> and uh, oh, 
You know what? He might have. What has he got? Things. What has he got you? What's the matter with you? What's he got? What's he got you eating? Tell me the truth. He Everything. has me in egg whites. Yeah. Oh, how many egg whites a day? Oh, Those he trained you to. He trained you to eat right, but too often. <laughs> now you got to cut back on the amount of meals. <laughs> Chickens are so. Let me hear what you had for breakfast yesterday. Yesterday I had four egg whites and a half a cup of oatmeal. <laughs> half a cup of oatmeal. Yes. All right, go ahead. Howard, I look fabulous. Why are you saying that? Honey, honey. <laughs> Listen, I, I happen to think have, you're a pretty girl. I do girl. still have some weight to lose. I will admit ah, that. Good. Thank but you. I did lose now we're the being 30 honest. pounds, you said, and that was the deal. Honey, first of all, it's your word against mine. I claim you didn't lose 30 pounds. And I don't have a tape either, so you right. win. Listen to me. Listen to me. You must have a Coney Island mirror at home because you're still a heavy set girl. Oh, Jackie, what are you laughing at? You're still a heavy set girl. I am. You're a heavy set I am girl. Still now listen to me. Heavy listen to me. Hour, yes. When you lose the weight, you're gonna be a smashing. You got nice big breasts. You're showing them off. I see what you're doing. Okay. How, what size are those? Ah, uh, D. D. They're yes. beautiful. Oh man. They're probably a C once you lose the fat. Seriously, some okay. of that's fat. Because mm -hmm. when I get your size, I have breasts. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me. Do I think you're an attractive girl? Am I that big? No, you're a very cute young woman. Oh, okay. Nice. Howard nice. likes extremely thin women. Uh -huh. If I was drunk, I'd hop on you. Uh -huh. All right? Uh -huh. I'm complimenting you now. Right. All right? He likes Terry Hatcher. You know how uh -huh. thin that is. Honey, there's five Terry Hatchers uh -huh. here. Oh, Howard. <laughs> Please. I like a woman with a little meat on her you bones, are. but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Howard, you I are. need a nice, slender woman. This is uh, outrageous. Right, so Stand up. Pounds? Let me look you how over. How many pounds? Let me see. I'll tell you how many. Look at what's going on here. You look like a butterball. Oh, oh! Let me see. Turn around. Sit down. Got a tuchus the size of a driveway. <laughs> Come here. Listen to me. That's Al Roker. Yeah. Oh, oh that's oh, ridiculous, Jack. Jack. Jackie. That's hard. Al Roker. Jackie. Come on. Terrible. Woman has feelings. All right. Listen to me. Jackie. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you how many more pounds you have to lose. How many? Can I be honest with you? Yeah, seriously. 60 pounds. I'm being serious. Wait a minute. Jeez, you mean all together with the 30 yeah. she already lost? with the 30 she lost. Oh, okay. I mean. So 60 I'm pounds. Not, if I lose 60 pounds, Howard, I'll, I'll be alright. 60 right. pounds, I'll sleep with you. 60 pounds? I'm no, you wouldn't. You're a germaphobe just like me. Right. I wouldn't let you sleep with me. No, you. I said I'd sleep with you. I wouldn't do anything to you. <laughs> you both be sleeping together. No, you're the size now. Howard, you, can I be honest pounds. with you? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to shock you into it. You ever see the guy uh, rerun on what's happening? <gasps> I am going to You're the size of here. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're being cruel. Remember rerun? Hey, hey, hey. That was Dwayne Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne Dwayne, whatever. Dwayne Wayne. Oh, Listen, no. am I going to tell you one thing? You got a pretty face. Oh. You got beautiful lips. Oh, yeah. You got a great nose. And you got beautiful eyes. You hear what I just and said? nice breasts. Now, can we just kill the arms and give me a part? <laughs> and, you got, and you got nice teeth. Let me see your teeth. Go like this. No, let me see. Make jokes Those are the nicest teeth I ever true. came across. <laughs> and let me, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm listening. You got a really nice head. Yeah. You hear what I just said? You got a nice head. Good head. I'm not sure. You got a pretty know. neck and you got a nice cleavage. The rest of you, for a young girl, how old are you? Oh, do I have to tell that on the air? Tell that on the air, please. Oh, okay. I'm 31. All right. Listen to me. You look like you're in your 20s. You're a youngish looking girl. Yeah. Life's not over yet. For a girl 31, you shouldn't be in this kind of condition. But 60 pounds, Howard? Yeah. That's all. I'm being honest with you. You probably weigh about 170, right? No! What do you weigh? I don't know, but I know. Yeah. I so how do you know you lost 30 pounds? Because I... I you you don't even know. You don't <laughs> know. How could you tell if you'd lost 30 pounds? She doesn't even know. I let him weigh me, and I don't look because no, I get very disturbed. No, that's, that's, that's a lie. You oh, haven't been. No I one's weighing you, no. weigh honey. Honey, Gary, get the scale. If you were get so happy, scale, I can get All right, it to you. Gary, get the scale. If she but was so on, happy with if the you way get she the looked, scale and I, she'd and be I able to look at her weight on the scale, the wouldn't she? Wait a second. What, Robin? If she was so happy with her weight, wouldn't she be able to look at the number? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know I'm not where I want to be, but that oh. wasn't the deal. The deal was to lose 30 pounds. Yeah, and I don't know that you lost 30 pounds, so don't try and back me into a corner. Now, do you want to be in the movie? There's Just a scene where he could probably work you in. There's what a scene. is it? It's like, listen, it's like an extra kind of scene. Okay. You'll see you'll be an extra somewhere. You'll be standing All right. there. <laughs> listen, that's, I, listen you're not, I don't know that you're an actress. Hey, you stand on that scale. I'm Let me wait. you. I'm everything. What do you mean? You sag. You're not kidting you, Sag. Oh. Sagging all over the place. Come oh, here. Get up. I set you I'll, up nicely. No, say, no, stand on that scale. Yeah, don't look. I'll look for you. Yeah, Wait, don't look. Let Gary look. I take my shoes off? Wait, Wh whatever you need. Whatever. Take everything off. <laughs> look, those, yeah. shoes gonna help. <laughs> those shoes ain't going to make a difference, honey. Howard. What? You want to 
pounds, you said? I would see you naked. Sure. Yeah. I'm into a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Stand on that scale. She looks a little like Oprah. Hey, I don't want to say, I right. do not. Yeah. Go ahead. Right, you just, Oprah. Just get on. Okay, I'm getting You don't have to look, honey. I don't want to look. <laughs> wait, wait, did you see get on Gary, get on your microphone. Wait, wait, let me see. Stay still. You're, no, you're, okay, it's, 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 it's zeroed out. I zeroed it out outside. No, okay. it has two pounds. How, how, tall, how tall are you? 4'10". 4'10"? No. Oh, midget. I'm, Fidget. I'm short, sweet, sexy, and very sad. You're, you're a pretty girl. Don't get me wrong. Is that okay? Is that to your liking? Yeah. Yeah, she's right. usually a linebacker. <laughs> okay, stay, stay still. And don't lie, Gary. 145. 145? Yeah. Really? Four wow. Four ten. Four ten. 145. I am not 410. I'm 411, thank you very much. Yeah. But if she had weighed 170, that's not 30 pounds. Right. If she lost 60 pounds, what would she weigh, Robin? Oh, if she lost Excuse 60 pounds, she'd be 115. Okay, so 125. No, no, no she'd be, she'd be 15 pounds. No, 15 oh. pounds. 110 from 170. I mean 25. 25 pounds then. So you guys no, no, made no. me look. If you lost 60 pounds and you, and you weigh 145, you would weigh 80-something pounds. What? And that's what you should weigh. What? You heard what I said. 80 pounds. 80 pounds. <laughs> 80 pounds. Jeez, Howard. Who's you wanted to lose another 60 pounds? pounds? What? You wanted to lose another yes. 60 now? Absolutely. How much do you weigh, Howard? You want me to lose? I weigh one eighty-eight. How tall are you? I'm six foot five. All right, so well. I'm a skinny bean pole. I don't say I have a great body. If I lose another sixty pounds, I'll look like I'm on crack. Yeah, well, maybe that's a good look. (laughs) Howard. Mayor Barry looks good. (laughs) All right, listen to me. I'm listening. Honey, I'll take your name down. Maybe there's a little walk on or something. You understand? You could be in a crowd scene. All right. But what if I lose sixty pounds by then? You lose sixty pounds, come see me. We'll talk about my next film. (laughs) You ain't going to lose 60 pounds anytime soon. <laughs> You're a cute girl. I'm sure you get men. But you got to slim down. No, I do All right. I got to be honest with her. All well, right? No, you're right. I know okay. I still have weight to lose. Okay. But that was not the yeah, deal. And you haven't lost 30 pounds. But you didn't lose the 30 pounds. All right, pounds. so it was You lied 25. to me. You had 25. I didn't lie. I never looked. Mm-hmm. I never looked. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can't put you in. I don't have any obligation, but I might. <laughs> Howard, I want your private parts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robin, let's take a break. Elephant Boy stopped by with his girlfriend. He's the, got a new girlfriend? Yeah, he stole her away from that guy oh, who's married. What a headache. The girl oh, who's married. They're together? Yeah. Oh, man. And then I got to we'll give away something, and then we got to do the news, and we got to get out of here. All right. All right so, uh, and, and thank you, Margaret. I like you. You're welcome, Howard. You're lucky I like, I like you. you. That's why you I went easy on you. You have a wonderful personality. <laughs> you, right. That was easy? I went easy on oh, you. Oh, God. I was kind to you. Oh, you're so <laughs> Listen, you want me to be fake like everyone else who's sitting like your mommy who's no, sitting and telling no, you you I look good? No, I appreciate good? your honesty, Howard. You're not, you're not, you could look better. Yeah, That's but if all. you really think 60 yeah. pounds is When it. you turn around in that dress because it's all cut out and revealing, uh-huh. you look like a man from the back. you got to get yourself slender like a girl. you oh, got to slim down. You never would mistake her for a man. No, yes, I would. Oh, no, he wouldn't. There's too much boobage here, Howard. No, and turn around from the back. Take a look at her from the back. Turn oh, around. I saw her from the back. You Come would on. never say that's a woman. I mean, a that's man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pretty girl, and there's no reason you should let yourself go. You're young and everything. Okay, I will fix it. turns around. It was Mike Tyson. Oh. Come on. You're a big girl. Hey, and there's man. no excuse for that. I'm scared of you if you went hard on me. He said he was easy on me. built oh, like man. James Earl Jones. Oh, oh no. no. That, she's not that. <laughs> oh, man. James right. Earl Jones is a mess. <laughs> yeah, well. Thank you very much, If Howard. the shoe fits. I like you, Margaret. Yeah. All right, baby. Thank you. Don't come in here to be evaluated by Howard. He's oh, no, I wanted cruel. to because he is the, like... I'm honest. Yeah, and he is like so. I'm handsome. I can do this kind of thing. All right, let's take a break. Scrutinizes. I'm very nice, right? Yes. Yes, okay. And say thank you, Howard, for teaching me how to look. Thank you, Howard, for teaching me how to look. That's better. <laughs> or else I won't do it anymore. No, am I in your private parts? <laughs> <laughs> let's take a break. <laughs> I'll, th- I'll, I'll work in. There's a scene where you could be standing there. I doubt you'll get on camera, but oh. but at least I'll shoot you. All right. Put you out of your misery. We'll uh, take a break. Beautiful Margaret, thank you. Thank and we'll you. be back after this. Uh, hey, you're on the air. This is Anthony. Anthony, you're on the air, Bo. Hey, Howard. Yes. You want to hear something? Smokey Joe Frazier, you know, the boxer. Yeah, Smokey Joe, the champ. 
he was drunk, was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday, my buddy told me. He cut his foot off cutting his lawn. No, no. no. Oh, <laughs> he didn't he cut smoking, his foot off. Smoking Joe cut his foot off? Cut his foot off. So I think it was Sunday my friend told me. Get out of here. I swear I to God, going, Howard. I was going to talk about He cut his foot off, my buddy today? said. He was drunk. Hey, come on. The guy's upset. <laughs> I think you're drunk. No, I'm not. He cut his toe. Cut his foot off. It's his toe. Oh, it's not, oh. man. He it's cut his, his foot toe. off. He cut his foot off, the guy he said. He cut his half his foot off. They made it. They made an ashtray out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking Joe, who always comes on the show, and uh, I know he does. I think he did it to sell books because he's got a book out there now. I couldn't believe my buddy told me this. I was what dying. happened? He was mowing his own lawn. He was mowing his lawn. It was yeah. outside, and, and apparently he just ran over something, and he ran over his foot, and he cut his foot off. Wow. It's a toe. How do we get in touch with him to find out? You gotta we find out, Howard, please. Why is this guy screaming? Hey, he's excited. Yeah. We talked oh, to him. Oh, man. He's got information, Robin. Cool. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Good Lord. You guys got uh, info. If his leg had come off, you'd just be hysterical. Uh, you? Yeah. Be that is funny, though. <laughs> the champ cut his foot off. <laughs> and he's goofing on Muhammad Ali. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe uh, Muhammad's better off not being uh, able to mow along. Yeah. I was trying to get you to touch, uh, I think, a Monday, Tuesday to tell you about it, man. Yeah. Uh, we had Gary talk to, got into touch with his son, Marvis. Joe yeah. was in the hospital. They took off a part of his toe. I heard. I swear, Howard and I Robin, know I you heard. heard. Was hey, Robin, foot, they might man. be trying to downplay it. He <laughs> might have taken off half his foot. No, no, this guy might be right. My here's bro- the deal. My, here- <laughs> Forget the deal. <laughs> The, uh, you know, something we didn't know about Joe is that he has diabetes. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, see? No and when he cut his toe, whenever, you know how Leslie West has it? Yeah. And he uh, scratches his toe and he winds up in intensive care. Leslie Leslie cuts off his toenail and he has to go into the hospital because he cut his toenail wrong. <laughs> they think you have to amputate his foot. <laughs> it's true. He goes, oh, and they almost amputated my foot. I go, Leslie, what happened? It must have been horrible. I, I cut my own toenail. and I was uh, trimming my toenail. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, are you a mess? Oh, man. Well, oh, apparently man. Joe has the same problem. Wow. And I think so he was hitting the booze. When he cut off his toe. <laughs> he had nothing to do. He was outside cutting his foot, man. <laughs> he cut his feet off on his lawnmower. <laughs> they had to rush him to the hospital, and he was listed in serious condition for a while, but it, they just had to take off the toe, and everything's fine. I, I'm the champ. I, I want to see if I can cut my foot off and live. <laughs> I guess he won't be meeting Mike Tyson now that he has only four toes. Wow, you don't think a guy can fight a guy with four toes? He's probably getting out today. Hey, he, can, we, can we talk to him? Hey, uh, I'll try. All right. Let me tell you something. I have, I'm have. i a mechanic and stuff, right? <laughs> if you, you did not cut one toe off with a llama, would it stop? all of a sudden? Yeah. I mean, come on, come on. Yeah, This guy's got a point. I bet you they cut off half the foot they I'm haven't told you. anyone. Howard, if Howard. He, he'll have to come in here once again and prove he's it. only got half a foot. Plus, if he's got diabetes, if Leslie cuts off a toenail wrong and almost loses his whole foot, imagine if a diabetic cuts his toe off with his lawnmower. they got to take off his whole leg. Oh. They said that, um, They said that you know, because he's diabetic, that it got a little bit of the toe, <laughs> but when it mixed in with the grass and the sock, yeah. you know. You had to take the whole toe. What What's funnier, though, Joe cutting his foot off or this guy enjoying that he cut his right. foot off? Well, what did my, my, Gary tells me Marvis called it a toe KO. <laughs> toe KO. Oh. oh, that's low, man. I'm not that bad. I thought it was funny. <laughs> toe <laughs> knockout. <laughs> one. All right, dude. All right, guys. You guys are the best, man. Hey, you Love know you it. All right, man. Bye-bye. Tolio. Bye-bye. Oh, jeez. Left Timmy. Oh. All right. Jesus. F. Timmy, man. F. Robin's horse. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I saw an AP story that Joe had cut off his toe earlier in the week, and I couldn't believe it, so I had Gary tracking it down. But that is the deal. He he lost a toe, Mm. not a whole foot. That's pretty funny. All right, let me me take a break and come back. i got a ton of stuff to go through, and then we got the guy with the tiny, minuscule penis coming in. He's going to show it to us. This is the guy you saved from... Surgery, or is he still considering it? He's still considering it. He's going to let me take a look. Oh. All right, we're going to be back right after these words. You got a glass. Somebody got a leading glass. Give me, give me the first line, Mom. This, this is smoking Joe Frazier, and it's getting near boner time. Boner time. Boner time. It's getting near boner time. Don't touch that dial. 
Hello, this is Smoking Joe Fraser. This is Bona time. Bona, Bona. Bona? Oh. Hello, this is Smoking Joe Fraser. This is Bona time. Don't you touch that dial. Hey, thanks, Smoking Joe. I hope his foot's okay, man. That guy's, that guy's the bomb. <laughs> Smokey. I love Smoking Joe. He, to me, he's the real champ. Screw Muhammad Ali. I couldn't care about it. Muhammad's not the champ. My, my, is it Mike Tyson? No. no, he hasn't had this out yet. Joe Frazier's the champ. He, he can run over his foot with a lawnmower and survive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good man. Lawnmower one, Joe mm, nothing. It's Bonner time. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking Joe, man. That guy's a pisser. We got to get in touch with him. <laughs> he ran over his foot. With a we got to find out all the details. Robin, you see what's in my other hand? No. Okay, take a look. I'll show you. Now look at this. What's in this hand? Oh, please. What's that? Not much. <laughs> it's my penis. <laughs> so on the one hand, I have the pollen spring, and the other hand, I have the my, my genitalia. <laughs> jaggy. Jaggy, jaggy. Happy smaggy jaggy. Exactly. Come on, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Very beautiful song, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Um, as you know, we got a call a couple of uh, days ago, last week, and the guy uh, guy was all upset because he's got a really tiny penis. Mm -hmm. uh, just to refresh your memory he now. He claims. He claims. Hi, Howard. Um, I need your advice. I have a penis enlargement and lengthening procedure. Uh, surgery scheduled for next week and I'm having some doubts whether or not I should do it. Definitely not. 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 Why are you doing it? Um, basically I'm really insecure about my size and I've, you know, I have trouble in locker rooms. I have How small are you? Are you smaller than me, you think? I'm as small as I've ever seen. Me it's too. A button. Yeah, it's a button. Me too. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I had a long extended conversation with him after that. And you really think he's going to show it to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wants to. He wants to know whether to get the surgery. I, um, I got to tell you, his... He, how small would it have to be for you to advise surgery? Smaller than mine, certainly. And I'd have to... I, I, I got to just look over the situation because I got to tell you something. Um, this guy, first of all, penis enlargement surgery is not safe at all. So far, every time they do it, it's a problem. Well, you can't say every time. Yeah, well... But there have been a lot of problems. Yeah. And one thing you don't want to lose, you know, is One your penis. guy who did the surgery wound up in jail. But this guy says it's so bad that literally when he takes his pants off, women not only laugh at him. He's been on nude beaches where uh, women accidentally saw But he'll tell you. Bring him I in. I have to hear this because he's exposing himself to ridicule. Right. This is Matt. He has micro penis. <laughs> well, at least he comes clean about it. I, I, uh, I, I decided years ago to come clean about my problem. There's Matt. Nice looking guy. There's nothing wrong with him. but And he looks like he has a, a wide pelvis. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hi, hey, Howard. Matt nice shouldn't have any problems. Yeah, well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> now, Matt, uh, you meet girls. Girls are attracted to you. That's not the problem, right? No. Uh, the problem is me and my psyche. And uh, You think it's too small. Well, women have left. Tell Robin some of the stories, because you wrote me a pretty detailed letter. Tell Robin some of the stories, what's happened to you, Matt. Or should I call you Miss? <laughs> 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 All right, Miss, can you tell us... Uh, Tell us oh. some of the stories. So one was that you were on a nude beach or something. I don't know why uh, you put yourself in yeah, that situation. Yeah, why would you go there? Well, basically, I'm so uh, repressed and um, that I I need to uh, take my clothes off sometimes. Uh, <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> right. I've I've hidden ev my private parts for so long that uh, to go onto a nude beach feels really good. And, right. Uh, People well, laughed at you on the nude beach? No, I, I lie on my stomach most of the time. <laughs> right. And you were looking, there was a girl on the beach who was laying yeah. there nude. Yeah. And as several of the men evidently got carried away and started uh, fooling around with themselves to this girl. That's not supposed to happen. Well, evidently it did. Yeah, it did. And uh, what happened? Then you tried to fool around yourself and everyone started laughing at you, didn't they? No. No? no. no that's a different story. <laughs> um, right. well, what about when you go to sleep with women? What happens? You pull down your pants and what happens? Um, 
Well, basically, the first time I'm with a woman, I get really nervous. Right. Um, now, can don't I hardly you, perform? Don't you wait till you get aroused like I do? What I do is I have a cool move. Before a woman pulls my pants down, I, I get aroused. To, if a woman even goes near my pants, I'm aroused. But let me ask you something. When you were a young guy, yeah. before you were married, Go ahead. could you handle this move? Yes. No girl ever saw me in my non-aroused state. All right. I was always quick to... Now, you must be small aroused. Is that the problem? Uh, I'm small, flaccid, small erect. Really? Um, wow. So you really have microphallus. Has anybody uh, said that to you? Has a doctor said you have a problem? No, the doctor went out of his way to assure me that everything was okay. Uh -huh. But you know it's not right. No, I've seen others. It, you know, he, he knows could that be. I have psychological problems and he's trying to help me out. Right. Yeah, it, he could be one of, you know how thin women sometimes say, right. I'm too fat? Yeah. He could have that problem. Yeah, well, I'm going to take a look at this problem and see if I'll tell you the truth. Have you got a problem or not? You understand what I'm saying? Are you nervous about showing me? Oh, sure, yeah. You are, but you ready to do it? But he's a fellow sufferer. I've been hiding it my whole life. I know, but if I take a look, I can tell you right away if it's smaller than mine. Now, if it's smaller than mine, I can't imagine anything smaller than mine. I got to know, do women ever get to see it? Um, No, they get to feel it, but uh, yeah, yeah, I guess they get to see it. Well, let me ask you something. And do they laugh or what? Do they say they're not satisfied? No one's uh, <laughs> No one's ever laughed. <laughs> They've screamed. No, but do they? Do, they don't laugh. I've only given. Uh, but I thought that you've you've had sex with a couple of different women and you never have it with them again, according to your letter, because they they run away unsatisfied. It usually doesn't last. Um, basically, I'm I'm You're really premature. insecure and I try to uh, get them to like me. I want them to like me, and I end up scaring them away. But you know what he does? He does a really dumb move. Because I read his letter to me. He tells the women up front, look, I'm not really big. Oh, that's And that's ridiculous. really dumb to do. You see, I was going to advise you on this, no matter what the outcome of what I see in your pants. What you got to do is, when you get aroused a little bit, you're a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what you got to do is wait for that to happen. Then when you pull your pants on, they think you're, got, you know, you're a gigantor. And yeah. then, and then, you know... You play it that way. And then when you're done, you cover if you're up. you're delivering the goods, they won't care. It's right. not about that at that point. Only one woman has achieved an orgasm due to my penis. So. <laughs> and it worked. It, it was an accident. In other words, what you're saying is, without getting too graphic, <laughs> it was an accident that you gave her an orgasm. Well, I had climaxed much Earlier. Right, right. And, I see. So you're a failure in bed. All right, well, at least you're honest. I like that you're honest about it. <laughs> I'm great at foreplay. I'm great at foreplay. Best right. in the world. Now, this woman that you gave an orgasm to, was that your mother? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what it is? It's hard for a guy this size because when I've he has... I've never seen anybody in his shape, I'll tell you that. Yeah, why. he's pretty nervous. He's a mess. When, 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 <laughs> you know what it's like? It's like mixing a cake with a pin. <laughs> If you're that you know small. How difficult it is. That's right. right. It's very difficult. <laughs> All right. I tell you what we're going to do. Let me take a little break. Your name is Matt, right? Right. All right. Matt has micro penis, we think. I'm How not, did you not get technically, this way? but it's that, close. It's close. Borderline. I mean, he's an attractive guy. No, hey, listen. He's not between the legs, though. He's not attractive there. Yeah, wait, just... You want Robin it. to look, too? Please yeah. let me look. Uh, <laughs> let her look. She'll let you know. She won't laugh. Though. I think I need a shot for this. She's very, you, want, you want something to drink? Yeah. I'm a nurse. Uh, don't even worry. Gary, about why don't you get this guy a, a nice shot? You're not driving today, are you? You got a joint? You need a joint? Oh, actually, I have one. You have a joint, yeah. though. I brought it for Jackie. You better go smoke it. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, You'll show me first. I'll take a look. And then if I think and it's all right. And if you think it's okay, then I'll, I'll let look. you take a look. Are we going to compare sizes? Uh, well, I'll tell You'll you. Tell I'll, him, I'll right? tell you. But I you're not going to show How him. Huh? No, I'm not as brave hey, as you. Let me ask you something. If it meant the difference between this guy knowing he's normal mm -hmm. or not, would mm. you show him? No. No. You're I don't show never him. showing? No. I'm not as brave as him. He's a much braver man than me. I know He's Howard so will be brutally honest. Oh, you know uh, what, what I that? think it is? I think Howard's not that small, and he doesn't want his cover blown. Gary, what do you got there? Uh, he seems to know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, believe me, I'm small. <laughs> what is that? Uh, dos reales tequila. Oh, you get tequila. Tell him to bring some water in. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't drink. Well, what you, you want to be what, sober what do you for have? this. Uh, this is a <laughs> this oh, got pot. California. No, yeah, I don't think you, can, you can't really smoke pot in here. No, but I'll just give it to Jackie. <laughs> oh, Jackie will oh, take it. Take, take home for the weekend. <laughs> I, I can't take that. Take it oh, Jackie can't take that. I can't. All right. 
getting in trouble. Right, let me get First, we have to say Jackie can't take it, and then Jackie takes then it. Then he oh, stop. All right. We're going to take a break. I'm going to ask Matt to sit tight. And then when we get back, just show me your penis. Uh, oh, take a look. Oh. All right. Get nervous, I would look. I mean, I've, I've never been, seen. Uh, he's, I he's threw up yesterday. Faint. He's about to faint because it, I don't blame you. I, I, when I go to the doctor, I'm embarrassed to show him. It's but very do you liberating. Get like this? Yes, I get sweaty. Are you sweating? Oh uh, yeah. And I get very nervous. Wow. Yes, wow. I get all of these things. I experience all these things. I feel like a, a gay that's come out of the closet. It's, right. It's very uh, it's a refreshing feeling. It's liberating. Oh, my. It's a huge uh, yeah, I think you'd rather be a gay coming out of the closet than show off your small feet. Does uh, your mother know you have this problem? No, but my father does. Yeah. You, you talked it over with your old man? And now probably the whole world does. But you know what? It's better that the whole world knows. I know. I, I confess right away. But you don't have to go out and try to find a girl. You got one. Yeah. No, no, she broke up with me. No, I'm talking about Howard. All right. Yeah, we don't care about you. All right, let's take a break. She broke up with you because of the penis? I had yeah, a girl break up with I, me because of penis size. I picked her up at the nude beach. Uh-huh. She dumped me. Well, let me tell you something. I had a girl. Listen to this. You think you're in bad shape? I was in love with this girl. She was an actress, beautiful, had great sex, the whole thing. I figured everything you was going fine. Sex. Well, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're very mean. Oh, I never saw it before. All right. Yeah, no, listen, listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. All right. Yeah, all right. That's very funny. All right. I got my all right, look. But here's the point. So this girl was great, right? We'd have sex five times a day. I figure everything's on easy street. She's yeah. in love with me. You know, okay. Yeah, she was a little aloof, this and that and the other thing. <laughs> so I can't get in touch with her for weeks because I go back up to college. She's living in Princeton, all right? She was an actress, the whole thing. I mean, I'm head over heels in love, okay? I'm ready to get married. You understand? Yeah, that she's happens. She's right in the sack. She's wild, the whole thing. Well, I call her up. I don't hear from her two, three weeks. I go, what's going on? She goes, look, I don't want to see you anymore. I said, what are you talking about? She goes, I got a new boyfriend. I go, yeah, what does he look like? What kind of man is this? She goes, oh, he's got red hair. I go, red hair? Like, That's the color of Bozo's hair. So what does he look like, Bozo? <laughs> so then she's telling me this, that, and the other thing. And, and then I go, okay, I understand. You know, you don't want to see me anymore. Listen, I'm not going to beg. And she goes, oh, and he has the most beautiful penis. Uh -huh. I said, what? <clears throat> How dare you? What are you talking about? She goes, it's beautiful. I go, better than mine? She goes, <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? She laughed. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. See? I caught my girlfriend in bed with another guy once. There you go. Well, that's and, pathetic. And got Didn't arrested he have a big, that uh, same night. You got arrested? Yeah. Why? Loser. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but did the guy have a big one? Thanks, did he that. see? <laughs> oh, did you see the guy's ween? No, they were uh, they were under and the sheets. And she was moaning and everything. No, they were just lying there. Yeah. Oh. But um, as I was leaving, I. Uh, I uh, walked by her bedroom window, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to let them have fun tonight. So I broke the window. I shattered it. And, right. uh, and then she called the cops? Yeah, and I got arrested for felony burglary. Right. Oh, Handcuffed nice. the whole 10 yards. Wow. Well, you deserve that. You're breaking windows, you nut. Yeah, but he wasn't <laughs> trying to burgle. Was he? <laughs> he, was trying to, he was trying to get them. At least I didn't slice her head off. Right. That's next, I'm Somebody sure. Somebody ought to take that into consideration. <laughs> All right. Why don't we take a break so you can calm down? Okay. Listen, we're both guys. I'll take a look. Hey, look out. Talk about it. I'm sure it ain't that bad. <laughs> it <All> is. <laughs> Believe me. You're probably right. bigger than Jackie, so it ain't right yeah. there. You probably are bigger than Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, hey, what, 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 Jackie, Jackie's got nothing. What do you, 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 what does he think he has a big one? I didn't Who? say a big one. Jackie, I'm, you're as tiny as I am. I am certainly <laughs> adequate. <laughs> well, then I am, too. I am adequate. Ooh. I got the same. You saw Jackie's, right? Yes. I got the same you thing he's got. You have a button. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. Oh, come pull your there. pants down. Show me. Yeah, pull your pants down. Oh, no. Right, good. Oh, no. Here? good. Let him show you. Right no. Is he showing you? He wants to show you to your face. <laughs> pull down your pants and show her. Wait, I need a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken. Stop, like, what are you talking about? But, uh, oh, yeah. just lie. You got nothing. 
All right, we'll take him. And Jackie, Jackie, we lost a bunch of weight. Yeah. He has to wear the same belt so we can show everyone how much weight he lost. Well, you know he's going to gain the weight back. Why buy a new belt? Right. <laughs> All right, let's oh, take a break. I'm show you. Oh, gonna... Now we'll take a break, and we'll come back right after these words. And let Matt have his moment so I can look over his penis. I didn't ask to see your butt. <laughs> <laughs> he just mooned me. <laughs> Matt, don't be nervous. Mm. Are you really uptight? Um, yeah, Are you afraid I'll laugh? I am so afraid. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. I know you'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. All right. We're going to take a break. I'll be right back. You're probably the same size as Jack. But he's going to try to undergo surgery. For well, let me, let me take a look before you do anything, all right? You might need surgery, but let me take a look. All right. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> All right, listen, do me a favor here. What do you want to do? You want to do this in the corner? Jackie, you want, to, you want Jackie to take a look, too? You better let Jackie look. Uh, There's two guys looking. You won't feel so gay. Yeah, right. If you want, I'll be there. Well, I think, Foley, we should all have a look, no? No, no, no. They, okay they, I, you know, I mean, he might only want two guys looking. How many guys do you want yeah, looking? Are you okay with that? Uh, at this point, it just doesn't matter. All right, here, you want to... You wanna... Does he do the shower thing, or did he go home no, smelly from gym, gym too? Yeah, if it's Fred no too. showers. And he's no telling showers. me in the commercial, I'm wearing, he goes, man, Howard, you're wearing sweatpants. You're lucky. I go, what, what do you, do you mean? Yeah, tell Robin about sweatpants. Uh, I'm afraid that my bulge shows, my lack of a bulge shows when I wear sweatpants. Uh. He has no bulge. Uh, but but I, I don't have anything, but who would know? You can't tell. I'm looking at him now. There's pretty much nothing there. <laughs> really? <laughs> but, but who would see anything? Oh, you can see some guys in their jeans. Really? I see some. Are you getting aroused? Uh, no, but Jackie is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at Jackie that. Jackie just stuffed something in his hands. <laughs> <Jackie. laughs> All I know is you can wear sweatpants. Sw what, you can tell I have nothing by my sweatpants? Um, kind of. Yeah. Really? I'm trained. <laughs> he might be, you know. I don't know, man. Yeah. Little, you might be a homo. <laughs> no, no, no homo. Really? All right, where, where were you want us to look? You want to just show it? You want to pull any picture? Or you want to turn your, uh, uh, in the dark? In the dark? Over there right, in the over shadows? Here. All right, come here. i got to be near a mic. Now, you rem remember that if he's larger than you, I get no, to come look. Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> yeah, just stand over here. Jackie, stand over by Robin me. You don't want Robin to see here. Jackie, stand over here. But if you're okay, Robin it'll be okay. <laughs> No, he didn't want you to see. All right, let's uh, hold. Hey, Jackie, guys. get your hands off me. I know, Jackie wants Jackie's, to hug. Jackie's molesting me. Wait. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Just pull down your pants. I think we're all gay. Listen, pull it down and let me take a good look. Wait. Oh, hey, Jackie. Oh. You it makes know? my weekend. You want to know something? He ain't lying. Right. Really? I got to tell you something. He's about as big as I am. Let me see. Yeah. He's Come about on. as big as I Let am. Let me see, man. You're not, you're not in bad shape. That's not. Jackie, I hate to tell you, man, this guy's got the same thing he's you got. Laughing. I'll trade. <laughs> what? I'll trade him. You got this. I know. He's got the same thing you got. You're Matt, lying. let me see. I don't know Jackie, what these guys are Jackie, you think you're bigger than about. him? You think you're bigger than him? I know I'm bigger than him. I'm Take down your pants you. right no, now. Good. What'd you say? I'm not showing you. I've seen yours. You're not bigger than this guy. Are you bigger than him? I'm about the same as him. All right, I'll, I'll go same. Yeah, I, I mean seriously. And I'm lying for the radio. No, you think you're bigger than that? I better be. I, Let me see, Jack. You know what? I'll tell you the truth. He might even have more girth. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared that that he's got himself ready. And that's what. Oh, he you had. think he's aroused? No, no, no it, no, it was no. especially feeling small right now. Dude, you want my you want my opinion? Wait a minute, I need to see. Right, come she over really here. Let Robin take a look. Robin, she come really over here. Does need to see. All right, come on. Let Robin take a look. Yeah. Come on. Come here, Robin. They, 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 you know what? You need to know, dude. You're not going to walk away satisfied. Yeah, I know. know. I, Robin, no, no, right. wait a second. We got Robin in here. Robin, let's make out while we look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to make out? She's with me a very while we look? lonely woman. <laughs> All right, get over here. Get over here. Right, let Robin I'm gonna look. Hold Howard while we Be ready to jump. She might lunge at you, man. It's been a while. No, no, no. This is the only way you're going to. I want to see the expression. Hold me very tight. All right. Pull down your pants. Let us see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> no, wait a second. Oh now, what dear. does that mean? Is that the smallest you've ever seen? <laughs> On a grown-up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It is? Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> on a grown-up. Really? Grown <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling What do you mean, like, no? no. <laughs> I gotta tell you something, man. Jackie, I no, seen no you. No all the jokes we make. It's definitely a gumdrop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I bet you're around you in pretty good shape. Oh, man. Oh, look at you. Look at you. But I bet you're around you in pretty good shape. Oh, man. Oh, look. You're bumming the guy out. Oh, he's crying. I felt okay until Robin said it was small. What? 
I felt okay until Rob and said it was small. I know, I know. Now Her really laugh is depressed. always the final. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Just a piercing laugh. That was the piercing oh, laugh. On the corona. <laughs> hey, dude, I, 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 I'm not much better, man. I'm telling yeah. you. And it Jackie ain't, it is, ain't so bad. I thought it was going to be like a yeah, little like indented. tiny. Yeah. Like a French yeah, like you want my, You're trying to be nice. You want, my, you want my advice? I'm going to give you advice right now. Get the procedure. No. no. You can kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Here's it. Now, here. Smoke more joints. Buy some dresses. <laughs> I asked the doctor if that had stunted the growth. No. Let me tell you something. I just no, saw. Now, when he is. He's in just, full bloom. No, no. I'm going to tell you something. I can now. tell. You want to you get yourself aroused? Yeah. That's yeah, the the magazines. <laughs> you got, Gary, give this guy some <laughs> magazines and send him into the jock lounge. Yeah. Let him go watch some porno in the back. <laughs> give him some porno Show to watch. And then come. You know what? We'll give you a bathrobe. You get the you get in, the, in my room back there. You watch some porno. Get yourself all good and excited. They come running in here. Run here. Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. This is sick, man. No, it's not sick. I got to find out what's well, wrong with you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying you're to help you. You're going to <laughs> mutilate yourself. <laughs> at any time right I don't now. think you should get the procedure number one. No. 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 Number two, I'm going to. Uh, I that? think you need psychological help. Oh, that's a good. Who's that? Pamela Anderson. Oh, wow. Get, get in. Get, get Gary in here, will you? Let's get this guy set up. I might have performance Ooh. anxiety. It's just a no. lot of stress. No, oh, no, just no, calm no, down. No. You're not just that us. bad. You're I see you. You ain't that bad. You got your fine. Really? Just get it's, yourself a little it's, excited. It's a penis. What do just you listen. Want? Don't go walking around on nude beaches and torture yeah. yourself. Just get yourself excited before you go with the woman. Take this guy into my room. Right. Let him watch some porno. Dim Good. the lights. Let him dim the lights. Let him get a little excited. All right. All right. We're low on porno. You know. And then run him in here so I can see what's going on when he's around. Can you get in here that quick? Of course he can. You'll yeah. stand by the door and run him in here so he yeah, knows where he's bring going. Bring him the back way, the shortcut. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Go with Gary right now. What's the matter with you? Clear. All right. Hurry up. <laughs> he's in bad shape. <laughs> oh, my God. You had a laugh at the guy? <laughs> That's so cruel wow. thing. It's one thing when we're fooling around, but when she looks, <laughs> bends over her stirred. I would never let you see mine. Like a knife to the heart. I was not prepared. I, I, not I couldn't believe it was going to be as small as that. <laughs> mine's, mine's the same size. And so is Jackie's. Well, I hope you're... You saw Jackie's. Isn't yeah. it the same? Now, what is this you saw me? Jackie, what? you the Club Benet. flash us all the time at Club Benet. Until we that told you you were not, small. I was behind the door changing. Oh, police. You, you saw... used to turn upside down with that police. little G-string on, <laughs> falling out of it. Right. Yeah. Robin, is she the same as this guy? Just about. Yeah. Really, man. <laughs> Thank you, OJ. Look at yours later, Quinn. <laughs> she's just happy because she has big breasts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's lucky. Yeah. Cut them off. No, I'm not. <sighs> she cuts them off and it's still big. Yeah. Jesus. Still too big. Yeah. She I don't see. know from... She don't know from small. Right. I mean, I thought I had seen small. No, yeah. that, and and I, I think that guy might be bigger than me. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. No. I swear. No, no, no. I'm not kidding. Swear to God. Go back there with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not all uptight about it. Can I ask you something? What? If you had that, would you be in his show? <laughs> no, no, I would just be quiet. What's wrong with that? Because he wants to get this out. He wants to get the surgery and be big. And if he gets the surgery, it might be totally functionless. No, oh, he'd have to be crazy. To yeah. Let me take a break. I here. think most of his problems are in his head. Yeah. You think this guy's aroused yet? I don't no. want to take a break if he comes running in here aroused. Yeah, he's he's gonna take a while. You think so? I think so. He was really. <laughs> How do you know? He was really upset when he walked out. Were, were you say, hey, Fred, is yours knows. bigger than his? Uh, much bigger. Really? I'm not bragging either because I don't have huge, but you're it's much average. bigger than that. It's average. Yeah, I've seen yours. I think it's average. Yeah, I wish I was your size. Lucky bastard. Well, you're a mental case. <laughs> Guess you gotta have something good. <laughs> gotta have something. Yeah, right. God had to give him something. Yeah. Well, you see this guy. You saw Jackie. I'm telling you, Jackie's the same size Stop as this guy. Stop with that. Because, I, I, you know, Stop Jackie was, that. like, sprawled out drunk on my bed one day. And, 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 and well, maybe totally you don't want to bring that up. <laughs> he was totally naked, and, oh, and I just saw it. I know. Jackie loves showing it, and it's like, he's got nothing. <laughs> would you sleep over somebody's house and lie in the bed naked? No. He does. Well, would you sleep over somebody's house and use their toothbrush? <laughs> no. I mean, that's Jackie. Yeah. So, I mean, he looks... F. Just, Timmy. You know, That's why Timmy's dead. Stop. He's too loose. You're, but then again, you know, maybe he was having a sexual dream and it and it was. I think he was aroused. You know, he yeah. thought he was big. You know was I mean? he bigger than you? No, but you know. Are you big? He says I think he's I'm not. Average. I think I'm average. Yeah. Oh. No.
Six inches is not average. Measuring Three inches is average. Nah. I see what's going on. All right, let's take a break. Only on my shape like a hammer, though. Are you? Yeah, like, lucky. Like, like the head is like... Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Like a hammer. <laughs> you shaped like a hammer. Like a hammer. <laughs> Your brain is a hammer. <laughs> Go build a floor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shaped like a hammer. All right, let's take a break. We'll take a look at this guy's weenie, and then we got to get on with the other stuff yeah. in the show. Like anything's more important. <laughs> I felt so gay looking at that guy. Oh, man. No. Jackie starts, like, fondling me. <laughs> Wait, is the guy ready? No, no, no. Oh, you uh, got, we, I can we, take we, a break? We, you right. take a break. We're timing this because once I get him ready, I okay, don't know how go, okay, go. Okay. All right. Here All we right. go.